Hello, my name is Kahan. I'm a medical student here in uh, the Trakia University and today I will uh, tell you more about the uni life here at the Trakia University. Due COVID, uh, we had uh, many weeks of the semester online, but um, now in the second semester we had a mix. So in the beginning of the semester it was um, in person, then it changed online and again in person. Um, so if I have um, my uh, the uni online, then usually it's depending which subjects uh, we have, but usually I wake up at 7, um, I take a shower, get my breakfast, prepare for my uh, day, make a plan what I want to study, my to-dos and look to my schedule and then the classes starts. Um, so um, usually if it's online, some days are long. Um, and um, again, uh, some other days are a bit shorter. And um, I try, do, uh, when it's online, I try to be active um, during the breaks. So um, after classes, I go out to my balcony, listen to music. And um, then we have also longer breaks uh, where I want to try to um, work on my to do list. So I'm studying anatomy. Um, or some other subjects, uh, preparing my protocols. And then um, usually, depending on the day, it's um, ending at 2, sometimes also at um, 5 p.m. And then um, I'm finishing my to-do list um, and uh, making dinner. Sometimes I'm going out making some sports or um, I will meet with friends. Uh, the weekends are off here. So sometimes if um, we need some extra classes, then the teacher offers um, classes at the weekend. But usually the normal program is only from Monday to Friday. So the weekends are completely off. And I'm trying um, to be um, still active at the weekends. So usually in the morning um, I will study make something for the university in order to have free time. If you compare it to my home country and to Bulgaria, I feel like it's more personal here. Um, and this for me, it's really important because um, if you have teachers and you know you can go to them, it's more personal, you rather go and ask questions. And um, because we are also small groups here, the teachers, um, most of the teachers, they um, address us with our first name, they know our names, uh, we know them. And also in the beginning of the semester, uh, when we had some problems or some um, um, classes uh, were um, cancelled, they always offer to take it on the weekend. And especially at this university, um, we have young teachers. And this is also really helpful because um, usually they have um, other um, teaching method and new um, teaching method. Uh, so it's really helpful. And um, we have also a strong relationship um, with them. At this university, um, since we have a strong relationship with the teachers, uh, we can always go um, to the office if we have questions or any other problems. They um, try to help us and um, send us also a lot of materials. The structure of the lesson um, is uh, we have two parts. So we have lectures and um, we have labs and also called uh, seminars. So in the lectures, um, the whole year is uh, sitting in one lecture room or due to COVID, um, we have um, it online all together. And then we have um, also labs or seminars, but here the whole year is um, divided in groups. So um, usually at this university, one group is um, filled with 10 people. And for example, in my group, it's really international. Um, we have uh, students from Germany, from Switzerland, from Ireland, um, UK and Greece. Um, so in 10 people, it's uh, really international. And um, I really like this, um, having an international um, group. At the university, we have uh, many opportunities um, to study also together. So usually uh, we have um, in the university a library where we can go and study. 
and um, we can also go to a cafe. In Stavrasago we have a lot of cafes, so usually we can meet with people and study there or we can also meet at home and um, study at our homes. In the academic year we have two semesters. Usually here in the, at the Trakia University the semester starts already in the middle of September and then the lecture period goes until uh, the middle of December. And then um, afterwards uh, we have the exam period. So um, usually all the exams are in January of the winter semester. And then depending which dates we have in the exam, um, we uh, finish in the end of January. And then we have only one or two weeks um, of break a short break between winter and summer semester and then the summer semester already starts in the middle of uh, February or in the beginning. And then um, the lecture period of second semester goes um, until the end of May and our exam period um, is in June. And um, usually you've, it's the whole June depending on the amount of um, finals but usually then we have in in the beginning of uh, July, um, we have our summer vacation and uh, compared to the first semester, um, it's longer than um, in the first semester. If you start uh, with med school, you all, um, also start to think about um, how, um, how much free time I have. And um, I have to say, and that's my advice, that's how I'm organizing myself. Um, I try to study the whole semester. So um, beginning with the first week, um, after each class, after each lecture, just do a bit, just revise, uh, make your notes. So uh, when the exam session comes, you have uh, more time um, to study rather than um, writing um, your notes. So it's really depending on you and which state of the um, stage of the um, semester you are. But all in all, I would say um, you still have time for, um, for your free activity. Of course, it's medical school. You have to study and um, on some days more than um, you want. But um, if you organize yourself, um, you have um, free time also um, for your activities. Concerning the exams, um, there are different structures which is really depending on the subject and also on the teacher. So in this semester, you depending on the subjects, you have um, different colloquiums. Um, in some subjects it's three, some only have one or two. And these colloquiums um, are really important because it influences your grade in the end. And um, if you finish the um, Ex, um, the lecture period, you have um, the exam um, session and then it's also depending on the um, subject. So in some subjects um, you have it's cons um, um, there are three parts. So um, for example the first part is a MCQ, so it's called a stop test because you have to pass this MCQ in order to um, enter the next step. The st a second step is, for example, to write an essay and you have to, pa to pass um, this exam to go to the last stage, which will be an oral exam. For example, this. Some subjects only have an oral exam, so it's really depending on the subject. Here in Bulgaria, we are working also um, with, we call it here in, uh, at the Trakia University, a blue book or Knishka. Um, it's really important in your career as a med student because um, whenever you have subjects, um, you have to go and get signatures and also for the final exam, uh, you write all the subjects, what you have in the end of the semester and depending if you pass or not, they give you the signatures and the grade. Coming to Bulgaria, um, to a no new country um, with a new language was, um, to be honest, uh, hard in the beginning um, to communicate uh, with all the people. But um, when you arrive here and you start university, um, you uh, meet uh, people who have uh, the same feeling. 
so um, you find new friends and it makes everything easier. And also um, we will start with the Bulgarian uh, classes. So you start to learn Bulgarian and which makes it easier with every day. Finally, I would give you three tips on your way. So start early and study um, throughout the semester, manage your time well, um, start to socialize, um, find new friends, which makes everything easier. You can study together and um, also after the uni, um, you can start activities. And um, if you come here, I know it's hard in the beginning, but be open-minded and in the end you will see that you will like uh, Stavrasago and Bulgaria.